Good afternoon, dear colleagues. My name is Dmitro Shrakarat, and the theme of my presentation is the development of energy consumption forecasting model for a metallurgical enterprise. The work was uh, prepared in collaboration with Anna Bakurova, Yuskiv Olesia, Elina Tereshenko, and Anton Rybenko. We all are from the National University, the Parisian Polytechnique. Black metallurgy is one of the most energy-intensive industrial sectors. It is characterized by a high level of electricity consumption that is a significant component of energy use. Thus, the share of electricity in the cost of production of large enterprises in the industry varies from 11% to 16%, and in some cases its share increases to 30%. Therefore, the problem of forecasting electricity consumption in metallurgical production is one of the important scientific and practical tasks in the power industry today. Based on the short-term forecast, the actual and optimal modes of operation of uh, power systems are calculated, as well as their reliability, efficiency and quality are assessed. Planning is one of the main management functions. How the planning of electricity consumption for the next day is relevant for many industrial enterprises. Guided by the outlet plan, the dispatching services strictly adhere to the specified corridor, preventing deviations of electricity consumption from the plant values. Most of the existing energy consumption forecasting algorithms are designed as a combination of different statistical methods. However, due to the nonlinear relationship between the factors and the load on which it depends, qualitative modeling is a very complex process. The known methods of forecasting electricity consumption do not work with distorted or incomplete data, so we need new methods and approaches of electricity consumption forecasting which could take into account different types of data. At the same time, at the enterprises that produce steel in the electric arc furnace, such as electrometallurgical plant Nipperspitzstahl, and at the ones with an incomplete production cycle, the structure of fuel and energy balance is based mainly on the use of electricity. The subject of the research is the methods of constructing and training of neural networks as a nonlinear modeling apparatus for solving the problem of predicting the energy consumption of metallurgical enterprises. The purpose of this work is to develop a model for forecasting and consumption of the power system of a metallurgical enterprise and its experimental testing on the data available for the research of Nipperspitzstahl. The following tasks have been solved. Analysis of the time series of power consumption. Building a model with the help of which the data on electricity consumption for a historical period is processed. Building the most accurate forecast of the actual amount of electricity for the day ahead. Assessment of the forecast quality. Methods used. Time series analysis, neural network modeling, short-term forecasting of energy consumption in the metallurgical industry. The neural network toolbox in the MATLAB system was used to build the forecasting model. At the first stage, as a result of a series of experiments, the optimal architecture and algorithm of neural network training were determined. At the second stage, the dependence of the error of log graph modeling on the influence of daily consumption graphs is established. A neural network of direct data propagation and reverse error propagation was used to form the forecast. Such a network architecture requires its training at the expense of setting time targets. Those should be the standard in the formation of the forecast and the input data that must be processed. There are two inputs in the network. One is external and the other is connected to the output of the network from that the input values are obtained. For each of the inputs, there is a delay line with tabs for storing the previous values. The number of neurons at the latent level will be established experimentally, and the number of delays is 2. A closed loop in nonlinear autoregression allows one step prediction. The forecasting accuracy is estimated at the average absolute error in percent, where yi is actual load value y with dash is forecast result, and p is the amount of data. 
The following neural network learning algorithms were used in the neural network toolbox. Leuenberg McWatt nonlinear optimization, Bayesian regularization method, and scaled conjugate gradient method. The graphs in the study are similar, however, it should be noted that the accuracies of the forecast in these algorithms are different. The most accurate a algorithm used in this study is Levenberg McWatt algorithm. The maximum prediction error is 2.87% per operational day. Forecasting was also performed using the LSTM network, which was also implemented in MATLAB. The forecasting results are shown in the bottom figure. The results of the calculations of forecasting accuracy according to the above formula on different learning algorithms are summarized in the table. According to it, the best among the used artificial neural networks for this training in the LSTM network. The maximum prediction error is 2.59% per operational 24-hour period. In absolute terms, this is a bit more than 1000 megawatts. To implement this study, the optimal software complex MATLAB was selected. Experiments on the basis of statistical data of the meteorological enterprise by the method of artificial neural networks were conducted. It is revealed that the developed neural networks may be used to make a forecast of electricity consumption for the 24 hours time period ahead, with a maximum accuracy of 2.87% of the actual volume of electricity consumed. Developed models for forecasting energy consumption of electrometeorological plant Nibrespital, based on LSTM artificial neural network, meet the requirements for the quality of short-term forecasting of consumption in power systems. But they fail to include all energy consumption problems and factors that affect the energy system of the enterprise. Therefore, there are a number of ways for the further model's improvement. The analysis of forecasting results using these models show that the chosen architecture and learning algorithm meet the necessary requirements established at the initial stage of dynamic forecasting based on artificial neural network. Taking into account that the most automated software packages give an error of 5-6%, the error forecast of 2.59% is a very good result.